Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to do another setup video, and this time it's with the MacBook Air, which I've been using to edit most of my videos lately, unless I'm in a time crunch, need a little more power to compile the video a little bit faster. However, the MacBook Air does have Thunderbolt 3, so all of the components I'm using in this setup are kind of surrounding Thunderbolt 3 because of the capabilities that it provides. I'll be showing off all the components I use in this setup, including the chair I sit in, my keyboard and mouse, and then of course, the gorgeous LG Ultrafine 4K monitor I have hooked up to my MacBook Air via one cable because of course, this monitor does support Thunderbolt 3. I wanna give a huge shout out to LG for sponsoring this video and sending over this monitor to check out. But with that all being said, let's go ahead and check out my MacBook Air setup. To begin, of course, taking a look at the MacBook Air that I use, this is an i5 model with 16 gigs of RAM. One area I kind of skimped on was the storage. It only has 256 gigs of internal storage, which I do have a solution for that. I will talk about that in just a second. Of course, since it's a MacBook Air, very portable, nice. I can just unplug one cable and head over to a coffee shop, maybe do a little more work there that I'm already working on. And as I mentioned, Thunderbolt 3. So you'll see the one cable going into my MacBook Air. That is the connection to my monitor, my LG UltraFi monitor, which is where I have actually the connectors for my keyboard and mouse. So with this one cable, not only do I have the image projected on the monitor, but also the connection to my mouse and keyboard. Since this monitor supports the Thunderbolt connection, you get a few different things. First of all, daisy chaining. So you can connect this to another 4K monitor to expand that desktop, also connected to your MacBook if you would like to. It also has 40 gigabits a second file transfer and 60 watt power transmission. So while I'm using my MacBook Air, I never have to worry about connecting it to an outlet or a power supply, which is great because I'll keep my MacBook Air power supply in my backpack, so when I have to get going, just close it up. I know it'll have 100%, even when I'm doing heavy video editing, watching a video and have a bunch of tabs open, it still has 100% when I disconnect it from this monitor. In terms of some specs of this very good looking LG UltraFi monitor, this is a 31 and a half inch nano IPS 4K monitor. This monitor has very minimal bezels, giving it a borderless feel, also with a curved stand down at the bottom, giving it a very good look in my office. This monitor does have HDR capabilities, so adding to the already broad contrast ratio it has, also gets up to 450 nits of brightness, and if you're looking to mount it, it does have Visa support. This nano IPS technology does control color very well. It covers 98% of the DCI-P3 color space, which is the digital film industry standard. The picture quality and color reproduction of this ultrafine monitor is very good, and that color reproduction is also very accurate to real life. So whether you're editing a lot of images or like myself doing a lot of video editing, you might be wanting to do some color correction on some of your shots. So you can expect to get accurate color reproduction with this monitor. Also worth mentioning, since it does have a 4K resolution, you do have a lot of space on that 31 and a half inch monitor. Adjusting the monitor is very simple. You can even use one hand to turn it vertically if that is a specific workflow that you want. I will sometimes turn it vertically. It just kind of depends on what I'm working on. You can raise the monitor higher and lower and also tilt it to your liking. It's really easy, works really well. On the back of the monitor, you have two USB-C thumb Thunderbolt connections, a display port in, an HDMI in, you have headphone, you have a headphone jack, and two USB-A slots. Those two USB-A slots is where I will put my mouse and keyboard connection. Worth mentioning, with that single Thunderbolt connection to my LG UltraFine monitor, not only do you have the image transfer, the data transfer, and power transfer, you also have sound transfer because this monitor actually does have speakers as well. These speakers are bottom firing on the monitor, and I'd say considering they are monitor speakers, they are above average quality in comparison to other monitor speakers out there. I wouldn't expect anything amazing. However, they do get the job done. The menu button's very accessible, right in the front middle where you can change inputs, turn on game mode, or of course, change a bunch of various settings, including the picture mode, which has a ton of them. Vivid, Reader, Cinema, sRGB, DCI-P3. It's really up to you, the specific color you're looking for for the project that you are working on. Now, LG's ultrafine monitors are definitely an investment, especially if you're someone like me that spends a lot of time staring at a monitor. Check out the links in the video description to learn more about the LG ultrafine monitor.
Now, when it comes to the keyboard and mouse, I generally prefer wireless. I have the Logitech Craft wireless keyboard, which I am a big fan of. Really works well with my workflow. It does have compatibility with my MacBook. And then with the mouse, I use the Logitech MX Master 2S. Very comfortable mouse, very accurate. The scroll wheel is actually really great and has a lot of other buttons for customizability. The desk I've been using is a Flexi Spot Sit Stand Desk so I can raise it and lower it, which is very helpful when creating video content or of course, if I do want to actually stand while I'm editing videos. The chair I've been using and sitting on for a long time now is the Steelcase Gesture Chair, and I'm a big fan of it. There's a lot of ways that you can customize the way you sit, and it's very comfortable. And to complete my MacBook Air setup, as I mentioned, I run out of storage space in my Air quite often, actually. So what I use is a USB-C Thunderbolt connection with my Samsung X5 portable SSD. Data speeds have been crazy fast for transfer, of course, because it does have Thunderbolt support. So that would be my MacBook Air setup. As you can tell, lots of video editing done with this specific setup, very minimal as well. I find that when I video edit, I try and solely focus on that. However, I will sometimes throw a video or some sort of media on my MacBook Air while I'm doing editing on the monitor. I will link to everything down below. Huge shout out again to LG for sending over this gorgeous monitor. Really looks good in this setup. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe as well. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.